Okay, so The Witches of Eastwick is about three women um, called Suki, Jane and Alex and they are three divorced women who are all very very good friends and they accidentally conjure the devil and he comes and wreaks havoc on their town of Eastwick. So I play the character of Jane and she is, for anyone that knows the show, she's a cellist uh, and she has this wonderful number quite early on in that one. Um, but she is, when we meet her, she's quite a repressed woman. Um, she's quite uptight. And within the show, we see her sort of fire unleashed. So for me, it's a really lovely journey to play with, which, you know, it's day two, so I'm still sort of working out when and how that happens. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's certainly going to be fun to play. I'm playing Alex Stoppard. Um, she is an artist, uh, which I am not. But uh, she's uh, very dry, uh, she's uh, divorced, uh, she has a son, I have a son, so immediate things in, <laughs> in common. Um, and really, like, just the chance to play our witch from the Witches of Eastwick, I would play any, any one of the three of them uh, at the drop of a hat, so just to be sort of part of that trio is, is the main sort of uh, gift that I've been given this week. <laughs> So Suki Rougemont is the character that I play, um, she's the ditzier witch, um, she doesn't really pay attention to what the others are saying and uh, even when she is paying attention she, a lot of it kind of goes over her head. Um, but that being said she's a writer and she loves books and she works for the local newspaper so that's kind of one of the, the reasons that I love playing Suki and that it's, you know, it was such a, um, an honour to be asked to, to play this part and also our director Maria Friedman originated this role um, so it feels um, slightly stressful and scary to be playing this part in front of her, um, but also what an honour because she's got such an insight into this role, so it's really wonderful hearing all the things that she's got to say about this, this part that she originated. If I could ask, if I could choose, what sort of man might fill the shoes? I'd like to find inside my door, what man might fill those Tom McCann's? Yes, what indeed? What would I do? What would I do? I'd ask him. I'd ask him. I'd ask him. I thought the moon would Okay, if I was a witch for a day, and uh, what would I use my powers for? Oh, I think I would stop time to go and see every. West End show, but then if I stop time, does that mean I stop everyone else from doing the show? I've overthought this already, <laughs> haven't I? I'd be quite selfish. I think I'd do some nice things for me. <laughs> I probably, yeah. I mean, definitely, it feels obvious, but surely like, world peace, right? I mean, just right now, the world is a petrifying place. So if my witch could offer peace for all, <laughs> and contentment. <laughs> yes, that's my witch, the good witch. <laughs> Come and see the Witch of Eastwick on the 20th of June, you can expect more of that.